Vlog, take three. (laughs) Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is take three. (laughs) Okay, so, we're the wolves. Hello, I'm Nick. I'm Becca. Um, I'm sure everyone who is watching this already knows who we are, but we'll introduce ourselves anyway. But anyway, so we're doing something a little bit different today. We're doing a vlog instead of me actually typing out a blog post. And so bear with us, this is our first one, and um, we will try to get through this. Um, But, so we have a couple things on the agenda that we kind of want to talk about. One is one of the most popular questions that we actually get. And um, I kind of, I asked my sisters earlier today, you know, what are you asked, um, like, constantly from people who are wondering about our adoption and stuff? And, um, And we're asked this question all the time as well. So... We'll get that answered. Um, I'll give you an update on our adoption and then a puzzle fundraiser update as well. So um, to start out with, I'll give you an update on the adoption process itself. We actually have finished our home study, uh, which we're super excited about. We love our caseworker. The home study agency here is awesome. Our um, adoption agency themselves has actually stayed the same. We're still going through all God's children. But since they don't have a local office here in Iowa, we use... um, an agency to actually do the home study and stuff so um we're basically just waiting for them the caseworker to type it all up we got our fingerprints done yesterday by the fbi making sure that clear yep we're clear Clear. we're not criminals that's right it's positive yep because they wouldn't have found that out by now (laughs) but (laughs) stay clean stay in school (laughs) (laughs) so we got that done and basically from there after we get our home study Um, We take it downtown Des Moines, and we get the Secretary of State to put their little seal of approval on it and stuff, and then we send it to immigration, because immigration actually has to renew our home study approval every year, Um, so pretty much from now until the time we actually bring baby home. And that is a little bit of a process, but basically we just send it in, and um, they'll send us a letter in the mail saying, hey, it was approved for another year, Um, these are the guidelines that you're approved for, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, and then from there we can send that approval letter to Bulgaria and they will update our um, dossier there. So we're in a really good spot. Um, Timeline wise, I know that's been um, a big question that we've been asked a lot. And what we've been told is anytime after September we can pretty much get a phone call, but it could be, I mean it could be as early as, you know, December, but it could be as late as like next December as well. So we still have a little bit of waiting time, but I mean, God can do miracles and we could we could get a phone call anytime. Um, so we're in a really right. good spot and <clears throat> we'll explain the traveling situations at some point because um, I know a lot of people didn't know that we actually go to Bulgaria twice and we'll kind of explain that timeline at some point um, if you all want to know. So I think that was it with the adoption process. Right. I believe yeah. so. I that is so. That is where we're at. We're yeah. in the waiting game. Yes. And uh, and so Becca wanted me to talk about one of the most common questions that we get is why in the world do we pick Bulgaria? Why? And, and where and, is Bulgaria? Yeah, where? <laughs> because a lot of people think that it's Bolivia, which is actually in I believe is that South America. I think it's South America, and that's it's not either, where Bulgaria is. Yeah, Bul- <laughs> Bulgaria is a part of the European Union. Yes. It is north of Greece, south of Romania, mm-hmm. um, and. Uh, Anyways, we how we arrived at Bulgaria, a little bit of a story. Um, we actually, uh, when we as we prayed through the idea of possibly adopting, um, you know, uh, we, God had given us a desire to be parents, and um, and uh, we we felt that that desire was definitely from Him, and and uh, you know, and, and as Becca was uh, uh, studying uh, one day, uh, she found. Um, the scripture that said, you know, that says that obviously children are a blessing from God, and uh, you know, and the reality is that that, that God does not guarantee, uh, you know, in the Bible does not guarantee that uh, He will bless you with children, and and uh, you know, but we had this desire to be parents, um, and so we began uh, praying through the idea of adopting, and uh, um, and so. Uh, when we felt that it was time to take the next step and actually uh, move forward with the process, um, we we began looking for an agency. Ended up at All God's Children, and uh, and then through All God's Children, uh, they have a certain uh, a number of countries that um, that they uh, help 
families adopt from. And every country has their own uh, process and own guidelines and qualifications um, of, of, and requirements, essentially, uh, that you have to meet to be able to adopt a child uh, from their country. Uh, there are many countries, uh, for instance, like China, you uh, have to be uh, 30 uh, to uh, adopt from China. Um, we were 26 when we started the process. We, I'm t I turn 29 tomorrow, so forever 29, okay. by the way. So. <laughs> Tag that new clothing store. <laughs> anyways, so, um, <laughs> and uh, Forever 29. So, anyways, so we ended up, um, where was I at? Uh, Sorry. I, I was, okay. So we, so, oh yeah. So there were many requirements. And, and, and so the first country that we actually um, had, uh, we were looking into was Colombia, but one of the issues we ran into with Colombia is that the youngest child that had been adopted out of Colombia through our agency, um, uh, was seven years old. And, uh, and, and at 26, we were kind of like, you know, I don't, I don't know if that's the right fit for us at that time. Uh, and with a seven year old. Colombian. <laughs> yeah. <we> don't speak <laughs> <Colombian>. <laughs> exactly. So, and, uh, and so then Bulgaria, uh, was a country that we, Honestly, hadn't hadn't even really thought about. Had um, no idea where Bulgaria yeah, was. No, Never same, even heard of the same look country. Right? You know, uh, and uh, and then uh, we found out that uh, that uh, it was one of the most stable programs uh, that All God's Children is a part of. Uh, they've uh, been working with Bulgaria for twenty five plus years. Um, and uh, it's, it's an incredible program. And, and so we decided to take the step in that direction. Um, just just take, a, take a step in faith and go, uh, go for Bulgaria. And then as we chose Bulgaria, we realized the need um, uh, and more and more. And, and God has just continued to uh, mold our hearts uh, for Bulgaria. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, our child um, it could, could be one of a couple uh, things because Bulgaria is a little bit of a melting pot. Um, of, of uh, different uh, types of people. And, and uh, so you have, you know, like race uh, Bulgarians, um, which uh, could be our, our possible baby or more than likely uh, will have a Roma, uh, a Roma baby, um, which is just a little bit darker skinned. Um, maybe more, I think, they're more, more Turkish. Yeah, they're more descent. out of the, the Turkish descent. Yeah, along those lines, uh, there's a lot of history there that mm -hmm. uh, someday we'll tell you about. Yeah, it. yeah. So it's pretty but, cool. But uh, um, and so that's how we ended up in Bulgaria. And mm -hmm. again, uh, God is just molding our hearts, and and we're we're so excited um, uh, to get that call and to go to Bulgaria and to meet mm -hmm. our baby for the first time, and and just to hold them and, and love them. Um, and, uh, and so Becca, I know wants to give a puzzle update. I just want to say, <laughs> yeah. uh, first that we are so thankful, uh, for all of your support mm -hmm. and all of your love, your prayers. Um, and, uh, we cannot... even your questions too. Yes. Like we love talking about it. So when someone asks like very specific questions about either Bulgaria or the process, like we have all of this knowledge and we want to share it with people, um, but we also don't want to bore you, so <laughs> if you ask, we will tell them. That's right. <laughs> Keep yes. the questions coming. Yes, so, but thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are amazing, and we feel so loved, mm -hmm. and uh, we cannot wait to bring baby home and for all of you to meet baby. Mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, Becca wanted to give a puzzle update. Yes, uh, very The exciting. puzzle fundraiser. Yes. So we've been doing the puzzle fundraiser for, I think, since February is when I started it. So Something for about four months lines. or so, four or five months. And um, it's been awesome. We have had some amazing donations. And um, basically what it was is you give $20. So you can give any amount of money. But for each $20, um, you get a puzzle piece and you get your name written on the back of it. Um, so this will go in baby's room. And it's a two-sided frame. And I'll show it. This is the Bulgarian flag, which is awesome. Uh, we only have 13 pieces. That's 13 pieces left um, to put names on. And I can finish the puzzle. And it will be awesome. Um, so that's the front, and then the back has all of your wonderful names on it. And yes. it's been so much fun to write those in, and there's even a couple of people on there like, I know, I don't know. And there's people that Nick knows and I don't know, and that I know that Nick doesn't know. And um, So it's been a huge blessing. So thank you to everyone yes. um, who has given to that. 
Um, also, a quick update on the blog site itself. I actually bought a domain, so it's um, a little bit easier to remember. The old one, my WordPress one, the uh, running into your arms adoption, that actually will still bring you to our domain. But the new domain, super easy to remember, it's just called uh, www.thewolfsadopt.com. And, um, but everything's the same, so you don't need to like, ch if you have it saved anywhere, you don't have to change it. But just so you know, um, I, I bought it so that long term we could actually keep it. And um, I just thought it would be easier for people to remember and stuff. Yes. But that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any specific questions, comment below and we would love to answer them. We can s do more vlogs like this if you guys like. We can do blog posts. If you posts. have questions. Yeah, you know. if you have questions and maybe you feel weird asking us in person or something like that, or you want everyone else to know the answer as well, we are more than willing to dig in and get those answered. Yes. And yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for your time. We're peacing out. All right. See Thanks. You. Bye. Bye.